Hi everybody, it's Pop Rock. I was watching Princess Diana's video the other day. I think she posted it yesterday, actually, about useless kitchen crap. Well, I was fascinated because I love all those kitchen tools and that stuff that you get in those specialty kitchen stores. I could just look for hours. Even though I don't cook, I just want all of it. It doesn't matter whether it's a raspberry huller. No, you don't hull raspberries. A huller for strawberries or an egg slicer or whatever. I just am fascinated with all that stuff. So I've got some useless stuff, but not so much. I wanted to show you my favorite kitchen things. And my first favorite thing is this knife. It's a Sabatier knife and it came from France and it's 35 years old and I use it all the time whenever I'm helping Pat cook. Sabatier knife. My second favorite thing is my spurtle. This is an authentic Graham Kerr spurtle and it's 30 years old and it's just the best thing. It's wood and it's got this edge here which gets into all of the edges on any pot and pan and this curve here is terrific for draining and it's a marvelous stirrer. It's just the best. And you won't be able to find this because they don't exist anymore. Authentic Graham Kerr. You see the burned in initials for the Galloping Gourmet. What else? This thing. I just love this thing. It's poor. Fouette. I don't know what it is in English. It's not beet. It's when you're making a sauce and you're stirring it in a frying pan. And this, this is a fish spatula but it's great for all kinds of other things. It's fairly flexible, but firm too, and it's a really good tool. I just love it. This is the new spurtle that I just bought. I got it at Lee Valley, four bucks. And it's supposed to be for stirring steel-cut oats to make porridge. I haven't used it for that yet, but I stirred something with it. Then, Oh, first, let me just show you this. I had to have this. I wanted this for raspberry coulis. Not that I would ever make raspberry coulis, and I don't even like raspberry coulis. But this, I had to have this because everybody on the Food Network uses one of these, and so I had to have it. And right now, it has a simple syrup in it because Pat likes sugar in his iced tea, and I don't. But for this thing, it doesn't come with a little cap, and I don't like anything to be open in my fridge. So when we were at Lee Valley, I saw these. These are little red caps. And this is what one looks like before you use it. It's like a little tiny condom. And I found these to put on my raspberry coulis pot. And it just fits down. See? It's just like a little condom. Isn't that just the cutest thing? And it covers the top. Little red caps from Lee Valley to fit my raspberry coulis bottle that's never going to have raspberry coulis in it. And the last thing I'm going to show you is this. This spoon. No, oh, it's a fork kitchen items. This fork belonged to my granny. My granny was born in 1890 and she had this spoon, this fork, well she had a whole set of them. They were part of her trousseau when she was married in 1910 and she used this fork for stirring all of her baked goods and she'd make a cake with this fork and all the tines are worn all the way down and when she died, her daughter, my aunt, used it for 40 years, and now I have it. And I use it whenever I don't bake. But I use it to stir stuff. Those are my favorite things. That's it, that's all.